Japan begins releasing treated radioactive water from the Fukushima power plant. The UN's nuclear watchdog insists it's safe, but China disagrees, while regional states and public opinion are divided. So, are the fears justified? And what do the scientists say? This is Inside Story. Hello there and welcome to the program. I'm Nick Clark. The tsunami in 2011 that swamped the Fukushima power plant in Japan led to the world's worst nuclear accident since Chernobyl 25 years before. The meltdown of its reactors have left a legacy of waste, including radioactive water. So much, in fact, that there's not enough space to store it. Japan says its plan to treat and discharge the water into the sea has been approved as safe by the UN's nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA. Japan will continue to take all possible measures to uh, ensure its safety. So we will uh, also ensure, with the UN IAEA's continued involvement, uh, that the discharge that adversely affect human health or environment will never happen. But not all the public are convinced. As for the treated water, Tokyo Electric Power Company only talks about tritium, but I believe there are other radionuclides that remain in the water in those tanks. Does this mean it's still safe in a way that everyone believes it to be? I find that questionable. Because the release was covered by many media reports, business was normal until about 1 p.m., but after that my impression was that we had fewer customers at the restaurants. China strongly opposes the radioactive water release and has swiftly imposed a blanket ban on Japanese seafood imports. China and other stakeholders have repeatedly pointed out that if the nuclear contaminated water is safe, then there is no need to discharge it into the sea. And if it is not safe, it should not be discharged. So where is all this happening? Well, the plant lies here on the eastern side of Japan, facing the Pacific Ocean. Nearby in South Korea, public opinion is also split, but the government has accepted the discharge. But North Korea has reacted with outrage, describing it as an unforgivable crime against humanity. As we've said, China opposes the plan, while the Pacific Islands, well, they're divided too, according to the 18-nation Pacific Islands Forum. So what's the plan, and why is it needed? Around 1.3 million tonnes of radioactive water are stored at the site in tanks. That's as big as more than 500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. But there's no room for any more. There are still large amounts of radioactive material left from the disaster, and water must be used to cool this to prevent another nuclear meltdown. And this cooling process produces yet more radioactive water. But they've run out of space. So, the solution is a gradual release of the plant's wastewater, which is expected to take at least 30 years. One of the main concerns involves tritium, a radioactive form of hydrogen that cannot be removed or filtered out of water. So instead, Japanese scientists are diluting it. Tritium is found in nuclear plants worldwide. It also occurs naturally, for example, when hydrogen reacts with sunlight to produce minute quantities. At low amounts, it's considered harmless, and scientists say its radiation is too weak to penetrate human skin. The quantity of tritium in the water being discharged at Fukushima is below the IAEA's safety levels. But if ingested above these limits, people risk developing cancer. Critics of the water discharge say more studies are needed on how it could impact marine life and humans. So let's bring in our three guests from Tokyo, Tomohiko Taniguchi. He's a professor at the University of Tutsukuba and former advisor to the cabinet of Shinzo Abe. From Oslo, Astrid Liland. She's director for emergency preparedness at the Norwegian Radiation and Nuclear Safety Authority, also a nuclear chemist. And from Macau, Victor Gao. He's the vice president of the Center for China and Globalization and a China analyst. A very warm welcome to all of you. Victor, I'd like to start with you. So... Japan says the water is safe. The majority of scientists say the water is safe. The UN's nuclear watchdog say the water is safe. What's the problem? Thank you very much. I think the Japanese government just committed an act of high irresponsibility. They fool the public opinion, not only in Japan, but in the world. 
because they say IAEA has approved the Japanese discharge plan. The reality is that the Director General of IAEA recently is saying, no, IAEA never has approved it. IAEA just insisted that whatever the Japanese government is doing need to be in strict uh, 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 in apply with the strict rules of the IAEA. Whatever IAEA is talking about this is not a blanket blessing on approval to what the Japanese government is doing. Now, also, whatever the Japanese government is doing is not a force majeure. They had 11 or 12 years to figure out what to do. Uh, Tokyo Electric made a promise to the residents in that particular region that they will never dump water into the ocean because the Japanese people depended on the ocean for thousands of years, and many families actually had depended on the ocean and the fishery for generations after generations. And Japan never consulted with other countries, for example, and they claim it is safe, but mankind has never experienced such a large-scale uh, deliberate dumping of wastewater, and the water is not just cooling water. The water was recycled through the core and the raw inside the nuclear reactor. And okay. it does not just contain one particular element. It contained more than several dozens of radioactive right. elements. We're going to get Therefore, on to all of that. this is an act of high responsibility. OK, let's get the view from Tokyo. Tomohiko Taniguchi. So, uh, respond to that, if you would. The IAEA has not formally approved it, uh, is Victor's view. The Japanese government has reneged on a promise. In the early part of July, the International Atomic Energy Agency issued a comprehensive report that was an endorsement of the plan of the Japanese government to uh, discharge water into the sea. So what you have just heard from Victor Gao is scientifically unproven and actually a false accusation not to the Japanese government, but to the IAEA. And the water that's uh, being dis discharged into the sea is not contaminated water. It is treated water and uh, involving something called advanced liquid processing system, namely Alpus, has just uh, uh, made the radiation level uh, so low, the only ingredient you're talking about is actually tr tritium. And if tritium is so much harmful, you can't live a day because a simple eye drop of your eyes contains millions of tritium. So it's absolutely safe. Right. Astrid, you're the expert. You've been to Fukushima, what, six times, I think, isn't it? Six times? Yes. That's, That's right. right. So China and others, are they right to be worried? What's your expert view on that? Well, it's only tritium, which is the radioactive element that is left in this water because they have purified all the rest. And I have looked into the, uh, the analysis that has been done from this uh, water after it's been treated and it's been analyzed with many independent laboratories across the world to look at if the uh, actual results that they uh, TEPCO in Japan says that the water has is actually true, and it is. So it is proven that uh, they do the correct measurements. So tritium is a very um, low radioactivity and cannot cause very much harm because it has very little energy in it. And I think it's uh, important for people to know that uh, the annual natural production of, uh, of tritium because of cosmic radiation is 4,000 500 times higher than what is proposed to be released from the Fukushima nuclear power plant per year. And also, many of the existing nuclear power plants around the world, they have an annual discharge of tritium. For instance, in China, they have one plant which uh, gives uh, discharges directly to the Taiwan Strait, and that release is 2.5 times, times higher than what is planned from Fukushima. And in uh, South Korea, for instance, they have discharges directly to the Sea of Japan from one of their nuclear power plants, 
which is about five times higher than what is planned. Okay. And, and what about this other the, thing? I just, the want to, power plants. I just want to jump in because we, we've got a lot to get through. Uh, what about Greenpeace claims that there's not enough focus on carbon-14, which is a, a radioactive substance that apparently has the potential to damage human DNA. What about that, Astrid? Isn't that something that needs to be focused on as well? We all contain carbon-14. All living material on the world, in the world has carbon-14 in it. So it means that I am radioactive, you are radioactive, to a slight degree because of carbon-14. So carbon-14 also is a, an element which has a very, very low energy, just like tritium. And it's not uh, a danger to people. What we should worry about are those radionuclides that have a very, very high energy, which could cause them a potential for harm if it is uh, an exposure to a very high level. Uh, but this is not the concern for tritium. So, Victor, respond to Astrid, if you would. Uh, it's not a problem, what we're dealing with here. And, in fact, China is discharging at, at 2.5 times the limit that they, will at, they are at Fukushima. Allow me to emphasize that they are completely uh, confusing apple with orange. The cooling water is not within the core part of the nuclear reactor. The wastewater we are talking about to be discharged, and that is being discharged, was recycled through the core rod of the reactor. Therefore, it's completely different. The Japanese government is confusing the situation, trying to mislead the public opinion in the world. That's number one. Yes, I agree with the Japanese panelists that the IEA did publish a comprehensive report, but he need to read the recent report that the Director General of the IEA said, for the record, that the comprehensive report is not approval or consent to the Japanese government's discharge of the wastewater. It is actually emphasizing that whatever the Japanese government need to do, need to be in strict compliance with the IEA rules. This is completely different. Now, if anyone believes that the wastewater is safe, he should drink it. He should use it in the bathtub. He should garden his own flowers, for example. I so, think uh, this is let, the reason Victor, why let me just jump in there. Wait, so what, what do you say to what you just heard from Astrid, you know, who's an expert on this, who's been to Fukushima several times, and the fact that the WHO say that the final level of tritium will be, is much safer than the level required by regulators? If there is only water, tritium is. you are talking about, that may be one story. However, the wastewater contains several dozens of other radioactive elements, many of which, which will cause tremendous amount of harm to human health. And the end result may not be revealed in many years or decades. And sometimes the damage to human genes, for example, or fertility for the younger generation may be carried out from generation to generation. Therefore, okay. the Japanese government's act is an act of irresponsibility. They are playing with fire, with the well-being of mankind as a whole, because the water discharged in the Pacific will be circulating around, and eventually all the oceans in the world will be contaminated. All I right. don't think mankind well, that, that's your view, Victor, I should say. That, that is your view, and it goes completely against what Astrid, who's, who's a nuclear expert, has just said, but that's your view, that's fine. Uh, Tomohiko, the thing is, and this is important, that consumer confidence is at rock bottom. Uh, right now, well, in fact, in 2022, last year, a uh, rockfish caught in, these, in Fukushima waters was found to have five times Japan's safety limit of cesium-137, which is a different thing, but nonetheless... And then shipments of rockfish were suspended in February 2022. And indeed, fish living near the drainage outlets of Fukushima had 180 times the limit. Tomohiko. Um, my point is, real time, every hour, every day, the uh, level of contamination, whether or not uh, the water is harmful, is being tested, measured scientifically. And it's been disclosed. Whatever concerns you may have, uh, that would be solved uh, in due course as time goes by. And that's what the situation is like. And the Japanese uh, uh, discharge of water does not have harmful elements, as was mentioned by Victor Gao, uh, who is not a nuclear physicist, nuclear expert, 
but he he may be reading uh, some 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 of the uh, policy lines given to him by the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party, the Chinese government, are weaponizing everything, including this. Tomohiko, bottom line, would you be happy for yourself or for your children, say, to eat fish fresh from these waters? There has been a massive campaign being conducted by... Tell mankind the truth. <laughs> there has Don't been a massive... Don't tell lies. <laughs> Mr. Gao, Victor, Victor, let, Victor let him speak. Let him speak. Victor, 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 let him Tell speak, the truth. and then we'll come to you. Let him speak the truth. Let him speak the truth. Tomohiko, I am uh, speak. I am speaking the truth. I would rather drink, drink that it. water. If not, you drink it. Not. You it drink the water. The water. You ask your son and daughter to drink the water. Him, Victor, I can come to you in a second. We can't understand what Tomohiko is saying, so you just need to keep quiet just for a second, please. Right. There was a, a cabinet minister who actually drank that water as early as November 2011, eight months after the he? nuclear fiasco. Where is he? Where is he? Is he alive? He is in Japan. Yeah, he's in Japan. Where okay, so Astrid, Astrid, let me put that question. Victor, I'm going to come to you in a second, but Astrid, let me just put that question to you because it seems pretty fundamental to the whole thing. Would you eat fish? Would you drink water? Would you drink this water coming out of that pipe? Uh, the water is not very contaminated because it has been purified to a very large extent. So even though it had a lot of different radioactive substances in it, uh, there is almost nothing left of other substances than the tritium, and which they cannot purify further. So, so you'd be it's happy not to drink it. dangerous to drink this water. I can drink it. I've been to Fukushima. I've eaten fish taken in Fukushima, right. and I'm not worried. And the cesium that they find in the fish very close to the port, it's not because of the discharge water. It's because of the accident itself when it happened and all the releases that went right into the water and also out in the atmosphere and later came down. Uh, on the sediments. So it's natural that there is still uh, levels of radioactive cesium just outside the port of Fukushima, and there will be for some time. And that's why they don't have any fish sharing going on just outside Fukushima. You have to move a little bit further away, like 500 meters away before you can start your fishing. And this is normal. All right, there you go, Victor. Both panelists happy to drink it and happy to eat the fish. I doubt it. With due respect to the distinguished the Norwegian uh, lady, Allow me to say this. If you really believe the water is safe, someone can arrange to have the water, waste water, transport it to Norway and dump it in the Norwegian fjord. Do you think the Norwegian people will be happy? Do you really want to try this? Do you really want to play with the fate of your own people, your kids, grandkids? No, this is an act of irresponsibility. And if the Japanese guest talked about CPC, Communist Party of China. Why there are so many Japanese protesters in the streets? Are they Communist Party members of China? Come on. The nuclear hazard I would like to does not this. have a political affiliation to it. We need to face science, and the science does not have a closed book on the nature and extent of contamination and danger to mankind. Okay, we Astrid, Astrid, to Astrid I'm going to come to you now. Of mankind. Astrid, I'm going to come to you now, uh, briefly, if you would, because I want to move it on to Tomohiko after that. Yes, I will be brief. In France, we have a nuclear reprocessing plant which discharges uh, four to six hundred times more tritium every year compared to what is the plant released from uh, Fukushima. They have done so for uh, for decades already, and we know that this, the currents, the ocean currents, brings it up along the Norwegian coast and further into the Arctic Ocean. And so far, we have not seen any harmful effects on the environment and not on human health because of those releases Allow who are to many hundred times higher. Uh, Victor, Allow I'm going to come to, to you in a point. second. Victor, I'll come back to you in a second. Let me just go to Tomohiko. Uh, Victor's got a point, Tomohiko, hasn't he? Because 
This issue of messaging is a real problem. There are Japanese protesters on the street. I think only 53% of people, according to a poll, support the plan in Japan. They're not happy in uh, South Korea either. Protesters try to storm the Japanese embassy in Seoul. Uh, there's, there's a lot of opposition to it. It's not just, you know, accepted within Japan. It's not that in any case, is it? So there's a real problem with the messaging from the Japanese government, even if the water is safe. I admit that, that uh, the Japanese government and the nuclear uh, reactor operator, TEPCO, have done a much, much better job in messaging and when it comes to uh, uh, telling the situation to the world. I admit it. But uh, if um, there is any single country that is uh, uh, organizationally very much opposed to this, that's China. South Korea is divided. China is the only country that is orchestrating public uh, anger so much that today millions of phone calls uh, from the uh, country code 86 are uh, coming to Japan and shop owners and restaurants can't do business because of the influx of the uh, calls coming from China. So it's absurd. I would say to the Chinese people, that they should calm down and look at the scientific facts. Uh, and uh, whatever Mr. Gao says, uh, that he is wrong is going to be proven as time goes by, as, as I would say, because each and every day you will see the results of objective measurement uh, conducted by the Japanese government, but also IAEA. And I, I, I believe IAEA has got a team that includes Chinese experts as well. And more to the point, millions of Chinese are visiting Japan at the moment. I don't think none of those Chinese tourists will come back to their homeland without eating any seafood. Uh, Victor, over to you. Uh, the fact is, as well, you can respond to that. But the fact is, as well, that this seafood ban that China has implemented will, will bounce back against China as well for the, the seafood importers and everybody involved in that business, right? I personally strongly support the Chinese government's complete ban of the seafood from, the, from Japan. And I think the Japanese fishery industry will go into deep trouble. And the Japanese panelist that talks about Chinese tourists, the Chinese tourists love visiting Japan, but I don't think they want to eat fishery from the Japanese offshore or going forward from the oceans contaminated by the discharge of the Japanese wastewater. This is the mega trend. So the Japanese decision ruined and will ruin the fishery industry of Japan. Now, further, allow me to mention one point. For the distinguished uh, panelist from Norway, she is confusing two things. Cooling water for a nuclear reactor is completely different from the wastewater we are talking about from Fukushima. They are different. They are apple versus orange. They are not the same cooling water at all. Therefore, let's focus on what exactly is the wastewater from Fukushima disaster. And that water does not just contain one nuclear radioactive element. It contains several dozens of radioactive okay, elements. Victor, I'm going to jump in because we're just going to run out of time. Many of which we're are going to very, run out very of time. harmful to human health. Right, let me put those. You, Astrid, you heard very clearly what uh, v Victor is putting to you. If you could respond to that briefly, if you would. Well, um, tritium is tritium, uh, whether it comes from Fukushima, whether it comes from a nuclear reprocessing plant where all the water has gone through uh, the used nuclear power uh, rods. So tritium is tritium anyway, and the concentration of other radionuclides in the water coming from Fukushima is extremely, extremely small. So, but it is, of course, di uh, difficult for the lay person to understand differences between different radioactive substances. And many of the people, especially in Japan, have the connotation that anything Allow related to, to radiation is extremely, uh, extremely dangerous. But Radiation can be not dangerous and very dangerous. So it's always difficult to uh, come across with a good message concerning these issues uh, for the lay people uh, to understand. But I think that you should look at 
the releases that are already going on from China, which are greater than what will come from Fukushima, and it's Mamichi exactly Adipo. the same right. uh, uh, same uh, tritium that goes out in, in the oceans, which are already radioactive. Victor, Victor I'm just going to go to Tomohiko first. If we have time, I will come back to you at the end, but we are running right up to the, the end of the program. Uh, Tomohiko, as I said before, we can appreciate people's misgivings about disposing of radiation into the sea, uh, whatever the science says. So why not keep the water in tanks until the radiation dissipates or, or more storage space is found? Why was this decision made to, to let it go into the ocean? We knew it would be controversial. The TEPCO has a limit in space, and you see hundreds of water tanks being built, and they can't build further, and that's the reason. And ALPS, the purify, purifier, has purified the water, and that water is being stored uh, in those tanks. Probably scientifically, they could discharge those water directly to the uh, ocean, but there has been, uh, there, uh, uh, we have had to spend some time to have a consensus because it is also about scientific uh, uh, reason, but also about psychological perception. And uh, it is true that uh, uh, most of the people in Japan have come to terms with the scientific uh, reasoning, and uh, it's, it's taken time. And in the meantime, TEPCO has had to store the water in those tanks. Victor, finally to you, aren't you flying in the face of scientific reason? No, not at all. I would, I'm a lawyer. I would urge to set up an international tribunal to accept litigation cases against this wrongful decision by the Japanese government for anyone who eventually will be proven to suffer injury and for any business which may have lost their revenue or businesses because of this wrongful decision by the Japanese government. And because of the huge scale of this wrong decision on mankind, I think eventually you will not see an end to the litigations against the Japanese government because of this deliberate decision to discharge wastewater into the ocean. Wait until tomorrow. All right, we have run out of time now. Do appreciate all your perspectives on this. Thank you to our guests, Tomohiko Taniguchi, Astrid Land, and Victor Gao. And thank you too for watching. You can see the program again at any time just by visiting our website, aljazeera.com. And uh, for further discussion, just go to our Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash AJ Inside Story. Uh, you can also join the conversation on X, formerly known as Twitter. Our handle is at AJ Inside Story. From me, Nick Clark, and the whole team, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>